order for everybody. Stay keep your pet. And and get ready for my WWE Raw review for the night. Alright. Alright, and tonight what I want to do is I want to talk about Raw. Alright, so as far as some of these matches go, one thing I can find wrong with the show is that match between the big show, whoever that guy is, and quite frankly I don't really care about his name, and it's Virgil and Ted DiBiase. Match didn't really entertain me that well. The elbow to end of the match was very weak to say the least, and pretty much more proof of why celebrities shouldn't even be wrestling in the first place. Evan Bourne and Chris Jericho felt the match, felt the match was pretty good. Although, I think they should have had Evan Bourne go over clean instead of, instead of whole lane disqualification. The NXT single segment and the NXT segment, really enjoying it. It definitely reminds me of, of NWL. And I can't wait to really see where they're going with this. The Regal Cause Law Santino deal waste of time. Especially at the time it, it was done. They should have had the match earlier in the show. And the main event tag match was pretty good for what it for the amount of time for what it was worth. It was okay. But one problem I had is what they could have done, they could have had somebody go over cleanly or go over in the match and then had a time for the attack. And as far as the Miz and the Fatal 4-Way match, they should, have did, they should have done that on Sunday and they should have also did a tag team title match that's been confirmed for Sunday as well on a Fatal 4-Way. But pretty much we didn't see the Hard Diamonds do the whole match. Well, the whole night. We didn't see the Uso brothers the whole night. So, it's, it's things they could have done to use the time wise. Overall, you could show a 6 out of 10. So, there's, there's still room for improvement. And, wish they'd have used the time more wisely so more talent could get on television. Peace.